Telling a guy that you like him can be a really scary thing because we don't know how he's going to respond and we're hoping that we're not going to be rejected. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you five tips, five, on how to actually tell a guy that you like him without scaring him away. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel in my bedroom. I'm Renee Slansky. I'm a professional dating and relationship coach and I help women from around the world find and build the relationship that they desire and deserve. Now in this video, I actually want to give you some really practical sort of tips on how to be okay with being vulnerable about how you feel when it comes to the guy that you're dating. Whether you want to tell him that you like him or whether you want to actually tell him that you love him. Before I jump into that, I do just want to make a note that I have got a free training for you gals and it's on how to actually get a guy to commit. And I give away three secrets and one of those secrets in that is actually getting him to talk about the commitment instead of you, okay, which is what we ideally want. So if you want to know about that, simply click the link in the bio below. Okay, let's jump into it. The first thing you want to do is you actually want to show it before you tell him because you want to actually gauge his uh, reaction and you want to make sure that you know he possibly feels the same way as you. And actions always speak louder than words and I think men respond to actions more so than words anyway because they purely receive and give less words than what we do as women. So showing him would be doing things for him. Showing him would be um, maybe you know what his love language is and if it's uh, acts of service, if it's affection, whatever way that he receives feeling that he is valued, focus on that and then do that. Now, this might be something as simple as remembering that he really likes a certain movie and then going out and buying some tickets. Or it might be remembering that he's really busy at work, so what you've done is you've ordered takeaway straight to his office. There's so many little and creative ways that we can actually show somebody that we really value them because um, it doesn't have to be about this grand gesture and it doesn't have to be about coming across as desperate. It's basically coming across as thoughtful and then putting that into action more so uh, than just words. I think we always expect men to uh, show us that they like us when they put in effort. But you know what? Guys are exactly the same. They really appreciate a woman that puts in effort and doesn't expect him to do everything. And so a big way to actually communicate to a man that you do like him, that you really love having him in your world, is to put in effort in and actually put that effort into action. The second thing to do is to affirm him. And this is what I talk about in my free training as well. Men commit to a woman when they feel good about themselves when they're with her, okay? And one of the easiest ways to make a man feel good about himself, which then he equates to, well, I feel good about myself when I'm with her, therefore I really like her, therefore this could move somewhere, is to simply affirm him and to give words of appreciation. Now, words of affirmation is one of the love languages. And while that may not be his love language, you'll probably find that the majority of men out there actually really respond to being affirmed. They want to know that who they are is enough and they want to know that what they do for you is enough. So a great way to actually start to indicate to him that you do like him, that you're feeling something for him, is to tell him that what you do like about him. Okay, So not necessarily saying, I love you, but saying, I really love it when you uh, change that light bulb, or I really love how you're such a great driver, or I really love how organized you are. You know, pick out a couple of qualities that are his strengths and things that you can tell he's really proud of and things that he's going to effort with and affirm them. He will then start to realize that you're a girl who recognizes what he's doing, that you recognize his true value, and he'll start to really feel strongly about you. The third thing you want to do is you want to start to drop some hints. Now, you can do that by combining basically number one and number two, which is words and effort. Now, dropping hints might be something along the lines as, um, I love it when we spend time together because it really makes me um, feel like 
I'm an invincible woman, okay? What you're doing is you're affirming how it is that he makes you feel and you're also affirming the action associated with that which is spending time together. Another hint might be simply through affection, maybe holding his hand, actually initiating the affection or initiating the intimacy instead of just holding back and waiting for him to do it. Men personally really like it when women make it clear whether or not they like them, okay? Because they feel that, you know, they can be putting all this effort in and they're not really sure if the woman's interested. And so then what they do is they can actually pull back. Men are scared to be vulnerable just as much as us girls. And actually taking that initiation to, you know, show him how you feel instead of just telling him. In relationships, we need to not just necessarily wait for the other person to do everything before we give ourselves permission to then dive in as well. There's always going to be some sort of risk involved in a relationship. And a man really likes it when a woman doesn't always necessarily wait for him to be the first person. Number four, find an ideal time. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to have a beach with candles and the soft rain falling down. This is about understanding that if he comes home from work or you've met, met up on a date and it's super busy, it's super loud, he's tired, he's irritated and it's got nothing to do with you, it's just circumstances, then don't go and start telling him like how you feel and you're out pouring your love for him okay choose an ideal time where you're actually able to have that conversation without being interrupted without having your phones or your social media or, or um, other people coming in a time where you can actually hear each other because you're not yelling over music okay or a time where you feel that the conversation is actually heading towards that whether you're having a text conversation I mean there's nothing wrong with telling a guy that you love him or how you feel via text sometimes we can have really intimate conversations through text because we feel that we can be vulnerable with each other because there isn't that confrontation of being face to face then of course when you do meet each other make sure that you reaffirm it face to face let's not limit it to you know I have to basically sit down and have a three-hour dinner with him and tell him how I feel I think the less you say, the better, because once again, if you've been showing it over a period of time, then what you're doing is by saying it, you're just reaffirming it. It doesn't mean you have to go into this deep romantic speech or poem about how you feel. Men respond more to less words, okay? So just keep it short and sweet. When I personally told my fiance that I was falling in love with him, he'd just come back from a trip overseas uh, for work. There goes my light. And we went out, we were with his family, his brothers, and we were at a pub of all places, but it wasn't too loud. And we were just having a conversation about our expectations, what we wanted. And it felt right in that moment to say to him, you know, I'm falling in love with you. To which he responded, I'm falling in love with you. And then we kissed and it was amazing. So, you know, don't necessarily feel that it has to be this Hollywood sort of projection of when to actually tell him. It's more about you feeling that it's the right moment. You feel that there's a connection. And circumstantially, the timing is right as well because the environment is um, ideal. And lastly, ladies, number five, be prepared for any sort of reaction. Now, when we tell somebody we like them, the more that we get to know them and how they feel about us, which is usually an indication of the amount of effort they put in and, and you know whether they prioritize us or not and what they're consistent in, will give us an idea of if they do like us, okay? Telling somebody that you like them when you've only known them for a couple of days probably isn't the right sort of timing to do. And the truth is, you don't really know that person well enough to even know if you do like them. Maybe you're just infatuated with them, okay? So be prepared for his reaction. His reaction might be that he doesn't feel the same. And as I said, the more that you get to know that person and the more time you spend with them, then the more um, you have an idea of whether or not they will feel the same. Now, his reaction might not be exactly what you planned in your head. Maybe he takes longer to fall in love. Maybe he's not as comfortable about talking about his feelings, okay? We don't tell people we like them or love them in order to have that back. I mean, ideally, that is what we want, but that's not always what we get. 
loving someone is understanding that your love for somebody doesn't always equal their love for you back. And that's just the risk that we take when we date and when we get into relationships. That's why if you can pace yourself and really give yourself a chance and him a chance to fall in love with you, then when you do tell them, you'll probably have a better chance of him saying that he feels exactly the same way. All right, girls, that's it for this video. Hope that it helps you. Good luck. Let me know how you go. Um, in the meantime, if there's anything that you want me to do, please let me know and don't forget to check out my free training on um, how to get a guy to commit. There's some really good bombshells in there about what men find attractive, what ultimately makes them commit, and how to um, really trigger him wanting to talk about his feelings and things like that. Links for that in the bio. Don't forget to subscribe. I need a drink of water, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.